Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, what we are going to be making is a product design inside of Canva. So, what you see on my screen right now is what we are going to be making inside of Canva. Every single thing inside of Canva and I'm going to be taking you from scratch on how everything came about. So, if you are interested in making what you see on my screen all i can say is stay tuned and i will be right back after the intro okay so before we dive into canva i just want to um put this forward that some of the things we would be doing would require you to have canva pro so if you think you're looking to upgrade to canva pro I have a special link in the description box below that can help you do that or if you want to try Canva Pro for free for 30 days, the same link can help you do that. So yeah, let's dive straight into Canva. Okay, so you can see this is what we want to do, okay, and um, everything is looking very beautiful. So all I'm going to do is to click on add a page, okay, and the background is already set. So let me just check the background for you. The background color is E9E2D6 all right then we come into photos and search for wall okay texture that's what we are going to be searching oh i came into upload rather come into photos and search for wall texture okay so when you search you should get very interesting textures over here you can choose any one at all of your choice so i think with this one i would choose this okay yeah and then um, this is how we have it so i right click and replace background okay so now the next thing you have to do is just click on the same photo click on the transparency and reduce the transparency so that you know you, you get to have a faint texture in your design and um, textures are very good for design because it gives designs extra details and that's why we are doing this in this particular design we are making so let's check how to continue with the design okay so then now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to add our bottle okay or our heineken oh where did it go okay so i have mine in upload okay so i just close it and when i scroll down i should find it somewhere here okay so if it's not here i think okay so this is it and um i'll just show you where i found it so i went on clip ads okay so let me just um, open this quickly i went on clip ads dot com and um, i just searched for heineken so h-e-i i i think k-e am i spelling it correctly i don't know but uh let's see okay let me just take a look at it quickly h-e-i-n-e-k-e-n so h-e-i-n-e-k-e-n heineken okay so you can see we have so many um samples over here and there's one you definitely find the shadow this is the one i found okay so just click on it and it should bring you to this page uh not now then you just click on discard it okay so if you don't understand what it's saying just come here okay and make it en which is english so everything would be translated okay so you click on download png for free then you follow the steps it would ask you i am human blah 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 and all of that so just follow the steps and um, download the heineken beer bottle i've shown you then import it into canva okay all right so here i have mine i'll just rotate it slightly somewhere like 16 degrees okay so i'll keep it this way and you can see it has a fine shadow which makes it look very interesting all right so this i want to find the name of this okay color paint um splash so we come into element okay then we search for color paint um splash okay so you find a lot of options over here and basically you can use any of these options you have okay but if you want more options come into graphics because yeah you get detailed ones so you can just take your time and go through or you can just search for paint um splash because i think that's what i search for yes and this is it so just search for paint splash and you will find that okay so all i did was i added it to the design and um instead of doing all of that just to save time i'll just copy these so you can see these are four copies of it and i just added it to the design and i sent it to the back you understand so this is what i have 
at the moment okay so now the next thing we're going to do is add that text so press t on your keyboard and if your t is messing up you can just simply come to text okay and in text you click on add a uh, heading so i will just say happy hour okay then i would make it big okay and i think maybe for this tutorial i should just change the color from yellow to a green and let's see how it would all look okay this is not bad but i think the yellow gives it extra touch okay so maybe we'll just stick to this and um the happy okay so maybe let's just separate the words okay so happy should be here all right then click on the happy come to position and center it okay then you duplicate it bring it to the bottom and just add our okay so we also increase the size of our to meet the happy okay okay so we select both of them and maybe let's rotate it a little bit like this okay then right click and send it to the back so this is what we have at the moment so what we can do is we can change the color okay of the happy so maybe to green um okay and the hour okay we also change it to um the same color to the same green okay then we adjust i think when you change the color i don't know if the color has an impact on the size but this is how it's looking i think yeah this is looking very good this one was just oh see what's happened over here so let me just change the colors back to okay i think i'll just have to do this individually so i'll just speed up the process okay so you can see how this is looking and you can see how this is looking it's the same but just that we have different colors okay so now what i will do is maybe i just have to reduce the size of you know this okay so now i just think i have to reduce the size of the happy hour so i reduce it a little bit because we'll be adding some extra text to the top okay so with the same um font we are going to so with the same font we are using that's the same font we are going to add so i'll just come here and copy what i have over here and paste it okay and then i just rotate it slightly to what i have okay so you can see even for here i didn't rotate the text but this is another um style we can have okay so you can just rotate the text a little bit right okay so this is what we have and i'll just push the beer somewhere here so that we can have this fine looking beer okay so now click on your beer come to edit image in edit image come to adjust okay then you can decrease the brightness okay to negative four increase the contrast okay a little bit to like seven saturation boost it up a little bit to 10 okay just to make our um, thing look very nice our bottle look very nice okay then the next thing i did was i went back into google okay and i searched for um glass or beer glass okay beer glass top view you understand so that's what i searched for and i got you know these interesting ones so you can come to images and in images there are so many interesting ones you can choose any of them this one is a cool one you can use okay so this is the one i went glass talk so if you click on it it should open and you can select this and it actually comes with a background okay so if you're on the free version of canva you can use um stickermu.com slash trace or you can use remove dot bg to remove the background of it okay so instead of downloading this image just right click click on copy image okay you see copy image when you click and you come to canva and just use ctrl v to paste okay the image will just come in straight there and you can see it's also uploaded so that's what i did okay so i removed the background of it okay and i you can see i'm just doing it quickly so it doesn't waste time but what i did was i removed the background then i came to edit image and i added some shadows okay so with the shadow i added a drop shadow to it because the glass has a shadow over here that's why i also added some shadow here so that everything can look natural and i believe you are getting the idea of how we want everything to look we want it to look natural as natural as possible and that's the main thing we are aiming for okay so 
Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is to recreate what we have over here. So I just pressed on a C, okay? Added this circle over here. And um, you can see we added another one. So just duplicate this one, change the color to black, and reduce the size just a little bit, okay? So once you do that, um, since everything is looking green over here, I believe that we can change the the circle at the back to, rather to black okay and the one inside to green okay which also makes it um, look nice but we can just depending on what you want but i think what i did initially yeah so this one looks much much better then i just select my text okay just to save time you know i'm just doing all of this to save time so i select all of this and drop it here and the reason why the yellow is working here is because there is some sort of yellow and some sort of yellow also over here that's why it looks very good okay so i drop it down a little bit now if you look closely to this design you can see that i added a shadow and obviously canva doesn't allow you to add shadow to um, shapes so what is the trick over here let's check it out okay so I just came into photos okay and in photos I just search for circle okay so you can see we have circles and they are photos so I reduced the size of the photo made sure it's equal to the size of our design okay because we want it to be visible and I increase it a little bit just to make it fit okay then I send it backward you understand so now that I send it backward it's an image so now you can add um, shadows to the image so i click on drop down you understand and um, click on it again the color is yeah then increase the blurriness and increase the offset of it so that we can see the shadow okay then with the transparency uh depending on how you how thick you want it to be you can adjust it according to that so you can see how we made this design inside of canva 100 percent canva nothing else so yes this is what i wanted to show you how to make in canva and taking a look at the design again you can see that this is a very simple design we created with no um extra or rocket science formulas you understand so yeah aside that what i want to do is i want to recommend this tutorial you see on my screen okay and um, the reason is it has so many interesting tips and tricks in there that can help you to become a better designer inside of canva the name is benjamin and don't forget to use my link down there to upgrade to canva pro and even to try canva pro for free i would see you in my next video